have a little chat about what's been a, a very uh, positive 24 hours in terms of a new contract or an extension of your contract signed for yourself. Yeah, um, I'm just really happy that I've got it done now. Um, yeah, I can only say thank you to the gaffer and um, people that have helped for the process, but I'm just really happy that I've been able to show what I've been able to do on the pitch and that um, I've now been able to sign a new contract. So, yeah, very happy. Well, that's the, 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 the first thing that everybody looks at, isn't it? You have to do it on the pitch. They don't just hand out contracts willy-nilly, do they? Just to think, oh, Rio's in Iceland, we'll give him a contract. But your, your ability in the first team is shining through at the moment. You're progressing well. Yeah, I've just been very happy to um, start as many games as I've had this year and get as many games under my belt. Um, hopefully, we can now change them into a, a lot more wins. But um, my performances have been good and hopefully I can just keep them solid, getting solid performances and showing everyone what I can do and helping the team. You've talked about the, the, that a, a little bit, the results haven't gone your way, but how hard has it been? You know, you're a young lad trying to find your way. And, you know, you, you, sometimes you're out there on your own, aren't you? Uh, sometimes, but I think our team is quite young in general. Like We've got quite a lot of players on loan and a lot of new young lads coming in as well. So we just need to gel. And um, especially me as a young lad, I'm just getting loads of experience playing all these games. And hopefully I can just keep going and not not get any injuries this season and keep going and getting more games under my belt and just, um, and just keep enjoying my football. You talk about gaining experiences. You gain experience from every kick of the ball that you're playing in competitive football. What did you gain from the weekend, unfortunately? It wasn't the best end to it. So what did yeah. you gain out of that? I'd say game management. I've learned, we've learned game management there. What I think because because of how the game was going, I feel like us players thought, especially our team, we thought we could win the game. So we were going out for the win and then them just getting a lucky, lucky touch on the last last cross of the game, two minutes over added time anyway is a bit annoying but um we definitely fought our, and battled the whole game they they were very a uh, uh, very tough team and very uh, what's it of course the name strong and like they all they all knew their jobs very well um but as crew we we play, when we play football as shown on the weekend we we could have just opened them up easily with our goal our goal we scored with about 26 passes without them touching the ball so it just shows that even coming up against physical sides, we, if we play our football, we'll be fine and score goals. It's just a bit unlucky how they got two deflected goals. Well, especially the first one. There was the the first goal was going the shot was going wide. It's just hit their player and gone in. There's not much we can do about that. And the second one is just last minute. It's just it was a bit um, devastating. But we go again this weekend. The one thing that I, I think all those supporters who turned up and those who were listening or watching it would find that it was a, a real effort, wasn't it, for, from the team? There was no way that you could see the team struggling at the bottom, caving in, because they gave everything. And on another day, your shot, which was a terrific volley, is going to go in, but it goes the other side of the post. The goalkeeper pulls off a fantastic save for Maggio Gomez. And, and things like that can happen when, you, when you're struggling, but you've got to rise above that, haven't you? Yeah, I think the luck will shift in our our favour soon, um, because even in this game that we against Wickham, we had many chances. We had thirteen shots or something like we had. We created loads of chances. Even Longy had a good chance. Like my volley, like you said, and Magic Gomez, the go goalkeeper, pulled off some great saves. But another day, like you said, they all three of those got shots go in, and then we're and then we're we're winning and we're looking comfortable. But I feel like in that game we were still very comfortable on the ball and we still made chances and we were and like you said the boys battled very hard and showed that we um, stuck could stuck there stick there and battle against very a very physical team. Just going back to you on that personal note about the contract, you know the manager's well delighted and so are the board of directors the way you're progressing. What's in the back of your mind now for where you want to be? You know in the next twelve months. In the next twelve months, um, I'd say just high in League One, get a, get loads of points on the board by the end of the season, and we go again in, in maybe playoffs, and we just show what we can do in League One. I think for me personally, I want to be here playing and just playing week in week out.
And of course, you're doing that. And we've also spoke to the manager about you know getting your, your you to sign the contract, and how delighted he is to do that. He's talked about your right foot, left foot, and and that's a real you know extra bonus in it. You must be delighted the way that you can go both sides of the pitch. Yeah, one hundred percent. Um, especially I prefer I don't I don't mind playing either side. It's a bit it's a more comfortable sometimes playing on the right because I can cut in on my left anyway on my preferred foot. Um. I can I can need to tell Bree, uh, Breezy, but FIFA have said I'm a right back. Like I'm not a right back. They need to get that changed. But um, I'm I'm happy playing both sides, and like I've got a good right foot. It's not for standing, so I can still whip balls in, and hopefully also get some shots off as well. I need to score some goals. I'm going to talk about that in a moment, but don't forget you're a professional footballer. He's only an apprentice uh, video man. He's just learning his trade. You've got to put up with that a bit, Rio, now and then. He's allowed to make a mistake, but uh, just, <laughs> going, just going back to you, you've just mentioned it. Goals are important for all departments, aren't they? And, yeah. and even though you're a defender, you, you've got to try and add that to your game. I'm sure that's yeah, what you're working on. Yeah, that is exactly. I'm trying to get goals and assists for sure. I feel like especially me as well, I've had chances to score this season. I feel like I need to start taking my chances and especially helping the team because we need to score goals, obviously, to win games and especially apply pressure to to uh, against other teams. So whenever I can it contribute to these goals, I would love to. But um, that's what I'm saying. I'm working on scoring goals and hopefully get a few, get around five or six this season. Two more things. First of all, I know it's not been easy, but Tom Lowry did come back into the side and I think, well, he showed. He showed what he what he brings. But you as a group of players were, were all there when he scored and the travelling supporters. It's good to see him back in the first team. And yeah. Long may it live. Yeah, I'm very happy for my friend. Like um, Me and Tom Lowry are very close and obviously I've seen what's happened. Um, obviously not, not having him in the team every week is a bit sad. It's very sad, but him coming back and showing what he can do. We all knew that he scores goals and he's a very, very good player. And him contributing to the goal on Saturday and us all celebrating together was just amazing. Like, I was just very, very happy for him. And just one final point. It was only a year or so ago that you were playing Youth Cup football, of course, and it's the FA Youth Cup tonight for, for the crew youngsters as well. And it'll be a game that all the first team keep their eye on, don't they? Yeah, um, FA Youth Cup is a great night for the under under 18s and I'd just say all the best to them. Like, Enjoy it because you don't get all these experiences. So, um, yeah, just enjoy it and have fun. But obviously try and get as far as you can because you get to play some at some great stadiums. Because I went to, I got to the fourth round when I was the second year and got to play at um, Leicester City Stadium. So, I'll say all the boys just try their best and try to get as far as possible.